Crush those knobs. They're on. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. This one too. Welcome to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. I'm Keith, along with Morgan. Hello, everybody. And we are glad to be with you this Saturday. We hope you're enjoying your Saturday. It's one time when Morgan and I do get to come together and be <laughs> in the studio together, even though we're at a safe distance. Oh, yes. And it's just a reminder of the privileges we have of being part of a remodeling and build company in San Antonio. San Antonio is a great company to be in business. It's where we've been, Morgan, all your life and almost yeah. all of my life since 1967. We've never lived anywhere else. And in fact, I've lived in the same home for 30 years now this year. So, so, <laughs> so it's- This uh, year, anniversary on your house. So I guess we like it, we're staying. Yeah. And, and hopefully you like where you're staying and you're listening to us because you might want to improve it. And there's, and of course, as we're sitting around in our homes more, in uh, seeing the things that we'd like to improve, people are getting the itch. Definitely. So, so you know, one of the they talk about a lot of symptoms mm -hmm. of the coronavirus, but one of them is a remodeling itch. Yeah, that's that true. is that is a coronavirus symptom. I'm <laughs> convinced of it, but they never that's didn't hilarious. talk about it. <laughs> that's the canned diagnosis. Yeah, you've got the coronavirus itch. <laughs> And what were you going to point out? Oh, that we also need to do our remodeling safe check. Ah, yes. Why don't you do that? Well, it's our barefoot clean policy. And I like this one a lot because it's nothing new for us as a company. And as for our employees, they didn't have to implement anything. But we do a barefoot clean policy. At the end of the day, we want our homeowners to be able to walk the jobs without any shoes on. And I will tell you that we have been to some projects walking them with our clients and they are not wearing shoes and they really do trust our policy because they have no they have no reason not to they have no fear yep and mm -hmm. so our guys are instructed to make sure they sweep everything at the end of the day so that way you don't have to worry about mm -hmm. getting a nail stuck and we also they also are instructed to do that periodically during the workplace because for their safety as well but right. it is an important mm -hmm. aspect of it and and the reason is, is we know when we're in someone's house or model, they're going to come in at night and, and look around, and we know that it could be unsafe for them. It is not it is not like a normal new building construction site, so we have to have different policies in effect. Yes. But today we're going to talk about uh, improvements, home improvements. New normal and yes. what that means. It means new remodeling needs. Right. <laughs> Our new normal, as we were saying, getting the coronavirus itch, can, can come in different forms. Sometimes we start itching for something different because we need it or because we want it. And there's been a lot of new, new needs, hasn't there? Yes, definitely. <coughs> and one that I've definitely been hearing about the most is because of the coronavirus and the nursing homes were very sadly the first ones really affected and they were, so many of people lost their loved ones and so they aren't confident right now to put them back in a nursing home or to even in the future put them in a nursing home. So instead of paying for a nursing home, they'd rather pay to keep them at their home, their own home. That's right. And, and so it's expensive to begin with, but when you add the fears and the concerns, yep. it really has amplified the need to have family close together. Yes. And, and of course, it's not just for senior citizens. We have a lot of young people that are not going to college right now or mm -hmm. delaying in their in their careers because of the coronavirus. They're gonna delay on where they're gonna to go to college or when they're gonna to go to a certain college out of home. So that means more people staying at home. Um, of course, we've got more people at home anyway because of working from home yep. and teaching from home, being taught from home, learning from home. Even um, so, so there's so many different reasons that the homes are becoming more and more used. We always thought we used our homes a lot, but now we know why we have our homes and how practical it is to have a home, uh, and especially one that's well suited for our particular needs. And 
it changes from family to family, but one thing we see is that a lot of similarities are, are being seen across the world. Definitely. More and more people are experiencing the same needs now, ever more. And so we can help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We can certainly help because what, what you need in when it comes to having uh, the extra rooms, whether that room be an office or whether it be a room addition for a family member or maybe you're converting other rooms and sometimes it's a combination of those. You might need another bathroom, you might need another bedroom, you might need an office and a bedroom. You might give up your master suite for your parents and have you move up into a master suite upstairs. Mm -hmm. Or you might want that one in the addition because your kids are, are staying home and you want them to have a, or somebody just moved in and you're gonna give up that master suite and you're gonna have a nice new master suite that you've always dreamed of. Yeah. And now is a great time to do it. We could call this topic, you know, now's a great time to remodel because it really truly is. I mean, if you're going to have to make changes in your lifestyle, and uh, you wanted to see how you could make the home accommodate those needs, wouldn't it be nice if you could get your money back if you put it on, on the room addition or on the remodeling? And the answer is yes, you can. And wouldn't it be nice if interest rates happened to be low at the same time that you needed that? Yes. Well, they are. <laughs> so that's why I said now, you know, we could say now is the time to remodel. And probably never have I ever seen a time in the history of remodeling in San Antonio where there was such an overwhelming need and so many overwhelming opportunities to do it. Mm -hmm. And we are the biggest we've ever been and the best we've ever been at being able to help people do that. Uh, with a full staff and, and even with virtual consultations now, we can, we can do that. And uh, that's been something that people have really appreciated. You know, you may just want to get your toes in the water so to speak, and see what it would be. And then what we, a lot of times what we do is we have an initial consultation online. You show me the home through Facebook, I mean through uh, FaceTime or through Zoom. And we set that up. We have a really nice meeting about details. And then we talk about pricing. And then we send you to people that can help you with financing at a very, very convenient way. Again, none of this has to be face to face and you, you just really can get the ball rolling so easily with just going to our website and go to KM On Demand, right? Yes, our virtual consultations is the tab that you can click on. And, and so that, that gets you a virtual, and, and my calendar's right there. Mm -hmm. The openings in my calendar are available to you to schedule right then. Yep. So if you wanted to do one Monday or Tuesday of next week, we've got some openings uh, sometime next week, I don't know exactly when, but I can do that. And then this, you get the information you need, and we keep it moving forward if you want to. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, there's no high pressure sales in our business. We don't want to push people to take steps that later on they're just going to stop. Mm -hmm. We we want to help you get where you want to go and give you the information you need. But unfortunately, right now, a lot of things are happening quickly, and you may have some needs that you need to fill quickly, and we understand that. So that is why we opened up some more time slots on our schedule to be able to help with that and to move things as fast as, but also be accurate as possible. <laughs> that's right, no, that's a good point, Morgan. Um, don't feel like, because we're so busy, that we can't accommodate you. Mm -hmm. That's why we've done things like the virtual consultation to get you in, and maybe that gives you the, the initial information you need yep. to see if you want to take that next step, and that can save you a lot of time. That can save weeks or months Yes, just definitely. getting the ball rolling, maybe in financing, maybe in some of the plans. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, we, we're even buying more equipment because we're so busy. I went up this week and uh, yesterday, yesterday, no, it was in Madisonville. I thought it was in Dallas, but it was in Madisonville and uh, pulled two heavy trailers. Stacked on top of each other. One stacked on the other. It was uh, crazy. Gooseneck trailers, big ones. Yeah, I'll uh, post with some my, pictures after With the my show. Ford F-350 diesel, Ugh. Power Stroke diesel, which I'm wearing a Power Stroke hat right now. <laughs> and uh, I love my Power Stroke from Ford to Bernie. And man, I tell you, Ford is has got an incredible product. Morgan and I were talking about earlier how I enjoy driving it, pulling it. I was never worried, even though he my was wife relaxed. was. 
I'm relaxed always when I'm driving my Ford, no matter what I'm pulling. And, and, I, and that's why I got that truck. But you know, if you want to see what Ford is doing, go to FordofBernie.com. And that's 920-3023. Fur to Bernie. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll be right back to the KM Builders Room Modeling and Design Show. When you're stressed, you just Every don't feel time. like yourself. Oh my! I know. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Heard of Bernie? Mom said she was not relaxed. I know you weren't, babe. Sorry about that. That is so funny. <laughs> you can ride with me anytime in the truck on a trip, honey, if you want to. If you want to, you can ride with me. But you don't have to. And we can break our vows together. Together. <laughs> if David Merritt the carrot was watching, he'd be laughing. He would, wouldn't he? Yeah. <laughs> he'd know what that was all about. Oh, yeah. That's so funny. So, I was thinking in the next one, do you want to talk about, like, get into specifics? Yes. Okay. Do I have one to start off with, huh? Yeah, it's Excel. Are we, are we missing a, a sponsor? No. Did I say something? Like that? Then I wasn't. Maximus, the maze, elite lighting, and bio green? Mm-hmm. Oh, so you have one... Available, yeah, I guess. I this, this one's technically mm-hmm. could be bumped. Yep. Yeah. It's good to know. That's not more than deal. pretty good huh mm-hmm. i'm surprised i liked it on the first try good he game. said i'm surprised you liked it on the first try too and he was like i'm sorry i made you stand outside for two hours and i only used one picture outside i'm like i know thank you I have my volume off. <laughs> nice mm-hmm. <laughs> and on Friday I did the video and I was actually able to do live from my computer and on Facebook and then Is your hair video? No, um, our cam details video oh. segment. So I went live on my computer and then put face Instagram on my phone and I centered it. So that way I was looking at both of them. And since Sarah wasn't there, because she was off good. on Friday, and so I was able to do both lives That's what I'm gonna have to together. Do. give you that thing. It's coming on. It should get here on Monday. I ordered it so already we don't from have Amazon. To Me, 
I'd rather not. I don't like them. <laughs> I have to psych myself into doing them. You do? Huh? You do? Oh, yeah. Me too. Yeah. It's not easy. Welcome to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. I'm Keith, and glad to be back with you this Saturday. We are glad to have a race. Morgan. Oh, yeah. And Morgan it likes it more and more every year. How many years now has it been? It will be three, I think. Three for you and 17 for me in August. Yeah. Or I'll be starting my third year, maybe, is what it is. Yeah. Well, people are recognizing you, remembering you from the show, and talking about you from the show. And, <laughs> and the commercials. Yeah. It's weird when my friends say, I heard your voice on the radio. Oh, when did you hear that? Yeah. I'm still getting used <laughs> like, to it. Like, can you stop listening to Jeffrey Light? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and so they sometimes say, let's see, I think I heard you on, what's, um, it was either this station or that station that we heard you on, and I'm like, oh, no, there's only one station. No, we're, you're on the ticket. Oh, yeah, that's right. And um, the bull, which actually, that's where my friends hear me the most is the bull. Are you kidding? Yeah, we listen to the bull. Oh, that's yeah. nice. Yeah, but they're all iHeart <laughs> stations. Yeah. So we can talk about them right here. Uh-huh. And, uh, but most of the time people will say, W-I-L. Well, they'll, they'll talk about a news station, and I'm like, no, there's only one that we're on. Oh, we're yeah, not, We're true. not on other ones. Yeah. That try to, try to match up to what KT, what, um, W-A-I is. <laughs> yeah. so, so we're on the largest talk radio station in South Texas. Yeah. And we are glad to have a large listening audience on the weekends. Mm -hmm. And we like to give you good advice on where you can do things for your home and good vendors that we have had success with. One of those is Expel of San Antonio. That's X-P-E-L. That is automotive paint protection film for your classic car, your show car, your dream car like mine, mm -hmm. or a work truck like mine that you do not want to get beat up just because you're driving it a lot. I mean, I've had my truck for a year, and I have 20, almost 26,000 miles on it. A, little, a, year, a year and a month. Almost a year and a month, not quite. Yeah. And so, I mean, it's going to get rock chips if you don't protect it. But you know how many rock chips mine has on it? Zero. Zero rock chips because I protected it through... Expel. Yep. But also, get your windows tinted and inside your home, your home. Yeah. Protected in many ways. One burglary. Of them, burglary, right. They have a uh, zero entry type of film that can be glued to the frames wow. and they'll have to push the whole frame in to get that, to get that window in. So it's incredible. Mm -hmm. Talk to Eric at 430 -7712. 430-7712, and you can see UV protection, burglary protection, and thermal protection. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 430-7712, expel. Mm -hmm. And so we're talking about, in the show now, about remodeling for the changes due to the coronavirus. Now, some of those are just wishes. You, you <laughs> want a nicer kitchen, and we're not going to talk you out of that. Some of them are wishes like you want a garage, just want a garage for your boat, Yeah, like Mike Ellie did. Yep. Our client testimonial of the week is Mr. Ellie, and he put this on Google, and we did a coronavirus project for him to put his beautiful boat in a detached garage that he just needed space for. Yeah, well, you know, he already <laughs> had three-car garage. Yeah. Right? And yep. he wanted this one for his boat and all of his fishing gear. Yep, and it and is really it cool. It is gorgeous. It matches it's, his house perfectly. Oh yeah, it's yeah. freestanding, and mm -hmm. what a cool guy! And, he's, and air conditioned. I told him I want his garage when I grow up. <laughs> yeah, and you can see all of our videos there out on YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram, and it's under the LA Project. But he says all of the people who worked on my project were professional and dedicated to quality. I am extremely pleased with the finished project. I highly recommend KM Builders for any project you may be considering. He's a great guy. Oh yeah, so nice. And uh, it's, it's just a real privilege to be able to work for y'all. Mm -hmm. And all, all of you and Mike, thank you so much. But um, let's talk about some of the other things that you might need, not just once. Today's about needs in remodeling due to the special needs that situation we're in. People are moving into homes, all of them not moving out of homes like they had planned, and it creates a need for space. One of the things you really need to consider is if 
senior citizens are moving into your home or staying in place, <clears throat> maybe you're not going to the nursing home or even, and you're diverting those funds into a remodeling project, mm -hmm. you need a professional. I personally am a universal design certified professional, which means that universal design means it's for everyone. And no matter a disability or age, and that could be very young or very old, mm -hmm. you want to design things that will work for them. That can include so many elements, including lighting, cabinets, shelving, entryways to the home, zero threshold, zero uh, thresholds Boring, in, right? in the, in the um, shower, mm -hmm. zero curbless entry showers is what we call them also. Mm -hmm. Not having any transitions in the flooring. Throughout uh, the pull entire outs. home. Yeah, throughout the entire home, thank you. Pullouts, lighting, surfaces, um, not, you know, what kind of flooring is used can make a huge difference in safety. You, we, we know things that can help your, your, you and your parents or uh, to, to make sure it's safe for everyone. I mean, even the location of a microwave over a stove, you know, those things can be changed and remodeling to where everyone can use them in a pull-out microwave drawer situation or lowering the microwave. Access, if someone's in a wheelchair, we can, we can go for that. Benches, in showers, um, even larger showers that help assist people into showers. All of these things, if you, if you have a tub, change it. You do not want a tub when, when you have people that are, that are getting up in age, that's yep. for sure. You have one broken hip and you do not want them in the hospital with a broken hip right now. No. We know of, a, of a, someone close to our, our KM family yeah. who broke a hip, was in the hospital, they couldn't check on them because of the COVID virus, and they got, bed got sores. infections, bed sores, they were not taking care of them, that person ended up having Passing. amputations and dying. Mm -hmm. So it is a serious thing to have your home as safe as possible and keep the, your, your family safe in more ways than one. Mm -hmm. Well, this the thing consequences is just, are so that's right. large. The consequences are being compounded mm -hmm. by this situation we're in. Yeah. Even if you don't agree that it's real or that it, the rules are going to keep you from going to see your loved ones. Yeah, and advocating for them. Yeah, and so it's really, really put, put, um, put people in some difficult situations. Mm -hmm. So we want to encourage you that any type of remodeling, don't, don't think that that you're, you know, it's too big of a need. You do not know what your home is capable of in most cases like we do. Mm -hmm. And we want to also be planning ahead for these needs. So maybe you don't have aging parents right now or parents that need to move into your house right now. So you can look at your home and think about these things that you can gradually do to get prepared for that as well. Yeah, we're gonna get into some specifics on what you would want to do to a home, what you could do to a home, how you could do it. Mm -hmm. But but right now, like Morgan said, start thinking about what it would, what your needs are, and if you're going to be able to and start planning for it. Financing is one of the things that is a great opportunity right now, and so look us up at kmbuilders.com mm -hmm. and schedule a virtual consultation with us, or just call our office at six eight zero KMCO. That's six eight zero five six two six. And we'll repeat those numbers when we come back, but we want, to, we want to make sure that you're thinking about all the needs and some of your fun projects as well. And just, hey, you know what? I want this to be updated. We do all of the above. So find out more about us by looking at our website. And you can view us live right now on Facebook. Facebook and Instagram. Uh -huh. And You can message us if you have questions there right now as well. Right, and I'll be the one coming out to visit you. Mm -hmm. and uh, giving you all the knowledge I have about your project and about what we could do to help you. And lots of ideas are flowing based on what your needs are. Definitely. I don't come there and ask you, tell me what you want. I just say, what are your needs? And then we talk about it from there. I don't want to talk about one of my wants. <laughs> it, I can't say it's a need, no. but I had a want, and that was to have the ultimate truck the way I wanted it. And I'm going to tell you more details later. But Joey is a winner out there at Joe at MaximumAltitude.com. You probably want some modifications to your truck or your Jeep, if you're like me, and he's the guy to do it. It's 655-0184. He's really cool at MaximumAltitude.com. More details and videos to come. We'll be right back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show.
Hi, Tiffany. Hi, Tiffany. How's that baby? Thank you for joining. like the containers or like homes in that area they have sunken in living rooms that's a one that mm -hmm. could prevent parents from being able to enjoy the house fully Maids are going to start cleaning Potter's house next week. Good. Are they happy with the animal crossing? Check them. Um, they said they haven't gotten any yet. Oh, really? Maybe you start doing the ads. Right for our dogs. Not always. Between them and Marcy. Oh, I, I 
I got complaints from clients. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I agree. I got complaints from the Morelands. He said he was gone for an hour. He paid $800. And she was in and out in an hour to do the kitchen. And all she cleaned was the kitchen. And then he didn't like. He was like, for $800, and I expected the kitchen to be spotless, and it was not. I think that's just one side of the story. Could be our PM's problem. Why they like them. They like them more. Why? Who so does? She does a thorough job. She's got lots of, lots of compliments, too. Welcome back. Welcome back to the KM Builders Remodeling Design Show. I'm Keith along with Morgan. Hello everybody. And we are glad to be with you and we are talking about projects in the new normal and what that means for, for you and what, what needs have come about because of the changes in living that we're experiencing today. So hopefully you've been listening to the other parts of the show, but if not, we're going to get into the real details of what you could do to your home. Did you have a something we want to talk about? Oh yeah, we want to talk about <laughs> one of the things you can change in your home is how you clean. Mm -hmm. If you need someone to clean your home because of whatever, you maybe got more people in there and you need a little help, call the maids. We use them on our projects. They do an awesome job and they use hospital grade disinfectant. I really do recommend them, and the, she's just so nice. The owner of the company, Monica, is, Monica yeah. is just great, and she is just really interested in pleasing you. I encourage you to give them a call at 822-2526, or go to themaids.com and go forward slash 211. Mm -hmm. But go to themaids.com. It's not the maids, it's just maids.com. Yeah, maids.com, maids mm -hmm. right. And that's pretty good that they got that website. I know, right? Maids.com, <laughs> it's awesome. Yep. And so we use them on our projects, and we're very happy with them, and uh, even on your home. Oh, yeah, And, and now great. my parents' home, mm -hmm. on Tara's home. So you know if we're using them in the KM family, that they must be good. Yep. So we're talking about these different projects that we can do, and you, you brought up a good one during the break about a project that might need to be modified for, for better access mm -hmm. for anybody, and especially those with limited accessibility. Yeah. And that was, I was thinking, a lot of homes in the um, Hunters Creek, older homes, bigger homes, they had the trend of doing sunken in living rooms. Yeah, homes in that, that age, yeah, 60s yeah. and 70s, mm -hmm. particularly the 70s. And it, it, it was interesting. It provided an interesting look and it was pretty architecturally, but not for good for accessibility. And so we can put a floor level in. Right. right. Yeah, we can actually raised. build that floor up. Mm -hmm. You can do it with wooden floors, make a wooden floor on, on top of the concrete, or you can actually pour it with concrete. And mm -hmm. it just depends on what your needs are. But either way, we've done it with garages also, where the garages are dropped down, and we've converted garages, mm -hmm. and we put make that transition completely smooth into yeah, the garage. That's true. And, and sometimes, you know, people don't, um, they're not converting a garage when they don't have the sunken floor. But one of the things that everybody, almost everyone has, is when they go from their garage to their house is a different level. Yeah. So what do you do about that? Well, there's a couple of things you can do. You can build a ramp yeah. in the garage. You can make it in a short area. They even make little elevators that um, that you put your, your wheelchair on or yeah, you can like walk on. Have that, right? yeah, and you just pull up to it and it's just a real short space and it's just mm -hmm. great. You press the button and electrically it raises. Half to that foot. level and you don't have to worry about tripping and you can do that standing up or on a wheelchair mm -hmm. so it's a very small little little thing now you can have those installed yourself uh, we don't have to get involved in some of those but usually if it's part of a remodeling project you can save money on the taxes and the installation 
and sometimes it's it's better to have several modifications done at once rather than all separately because you get a better deal on it and you're getting a, a contractor like us who's a design build remodeler mm -hmm. to give you good advice on where to put that what it involves it might involve some electrical it might involve some space confinements mm -hmm. uh, restrictions so it's good to get a professional you might want to widen the door or make the door stay open automatically longer uh, not hit you while you're trying to go through so all of these things and many many more that you may need better lighting in that garage you may need a parking stop you may need a, a little handrail so all of these things can be done the safest way possible and one of and we just you know we're just talking about the garage yeah that's and true. we haven't even got into the other parts of the home that need it Mm -hmm. And but another another thought though, since we're talking about lifts, is you know you can put an elevator in a home. Mm -hmm. And so if you need to get the parents or someone upstairs, or you're worried about your future accessibility, or maybe you're going to have knee surgery, mm -hmm. and you do not want to be going up those stairs anymore, you can have an elevator. In most cases, um, you're going to put an elevator in the home. Now I'm not going to kid you; it's going to start at least in the 20s. To put a, a real elevator in there but I mean really isn't that worth it just to be able to have full access and not have to, to move whole home. yeah mm -hmm. I mean it, you get up there and, and it can be beautiful too by the way mm -hmm. we have a client who they don't have any bedrooms downstairs they um, live in a really cool Monte Vista area and they knew I said well where are you they said this is our forever home and I was like well how are you gonna get up those stairs we're going to put an elevator. They knew exactly where they were going to put it. They made sure that when, you know, that the stairwell was going to be wide enough so that they could easily have an elevator installed there. And that's something that they're planning on for their future years. Yeah, and that is, that is something that you can do in your remodeling is plan for such mm -hmm. future improvements. That's why when you're doing the remodeling, you want a professional coming over there that can help you see the big plan. Yes. The overall plan. What would you do if? Mm -hmm. Because some people are hesitant to say, I don't know if I want to put any money in this home right now because I might be moving. Well, that that's understandable that you'd be hesitant. But what are you going to do? Sit around and wait for five, seven years and then figure it out? Yeah. No, you need to talk to someone that can help you with that. And then you'll know, well, okay, this home is not suited for it or it is. And, okay, I can go ahead and start enjoying some of the other things. And if I need to change it later to a modification to be able to keep living in it, I know that I can do it. And we did a very large remodeling project for that couple. Mm -hmm. The whole house. The whole house. Mm -hmm. And it's on there on the seals. Yeah, you the can see seal, them on the website. The and, website remodeling. Mm -hmm. And you can see where they're going to plan on putting their elevator. S-E-A-L. Look at that project. Uh -huh. But, again... They're thinking ahead, and they know it can be done. We've talked about it, yep. and you can do the same thing. So don't be afraid to, to, to have a consultation. Your, uh, your eyes are going to be opened up wider. <laughs> You're going to get more information, and you'll know what you, what's best for you and your family. But we give you the information so you can make the decision. We don't need to tell you what to do. You'll figure it out. Yeah. But we're going to go ahead and uh, talk about a really cool thing that can also contribute to safety and that's outdoor lighting yep. isn't it beautiful Morgan oh yes talking and about my house <laughs> your house is gorgeous and it's also safe because you won't have any tripping that's right with all of the lighting I've walked around in the dark many times out there and if you have a street light close by that's not enough no especially if you have trees trees like I do my whole yard is shaded by trees even from a street light when it was working um, but now the up lighting and the pathway lighting is just incredible. Oh, you need good. to see it's the like video. It's a model home. It's crazy. We've got a video out on that. Yes. Um, it's our last video. No. Is it our last video? So where do they go to find it? On Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube, just look at the video tab and look at one that's called Elite Lighting Designs. Elite Lighting Designs. I'm telling you, it is beautiful. You want this on your home. I didn't know how beautiful our home was at night until we lit it up. Mm -mm. And the trees. So, go to EliteLightingDesigns.com mm -hmm. or call them at 210-573-0594. And we'll be right back to the Game Builders Remodeling and Design Show. So we got a question on Facebook. What? We got a question on Facebook. 
and it says, when it is really hot and really dry like it is right now, how does that affect when you build a foundation for a new addition or a new garage or maybe a she shed? Does hot and humid condi conditions affect pouring foundation? No. It's better? No, whenever you are pouring, digging, dry is good. Dry is good whenever whenever you're digging. You want everybody's soils to have, there's moisture down below. Mm -hmm. But when you pour a foundation and you get ready to pour, you have to watch how much water is it goes into the concrete mix. You have to make sure that they're not overcompensating for the quick evaporation by putting, on by too putting much in water. too much water, right? Just to make it more easier for them to work, you have to have a higher amount of manpower in real high heat temperatures to be able to handle the concrete before it cures, because it will cure faster. Yeah. But you want to slow that down um, by handling it quickly and then pour, and then putting water on it after it's already been, been troweled. You put but water not in on the it, mix. but not in the mix, because that will slow down the cure, but it will weaken the concrete. Uh, so that is dangerous. A, and a lot of people do that because they don't have enough manpower to handle it. Fortunately for us, most of our projects, concrete pours are not that big. But when yeah, you get, it, like when you get in big, home? big homes, Ooh. the heat can affect the quality of those pours, oh, and they can wow. lose control of concrete. There is such and a thing as losing control of it can mean that you have to break it out or break out a portion of it and so that's why we have engineered ins uh, inspections during the pour mm -hmm. they will not allow us to keep pouring if their water were being added to it or if there were too long of a, a break between the trucks mm -hmm. in the heat it can be a real issue so in the new homes and stuff like that do they typically like in texas would you say they don't really start doing a pour in august no they do they still they do work it? right through it yeah wow they get they're supposed to get enough crews to handle it but it can be a heat exhaustion thing as well yeah because there's, I mean, there's some not, of those are crazy on right. some of these days it's just it's a killer it really wears the guys out the concrete and the yeah. sun reflecting back on them this the concrete gets hot Mm -hmm. And literally, literally can can almost be hot to the touch when you're trying to steel trowel it at the end. Wow, that's scary. Yeah, it's a lot of heat. Those guys are have a tremendous amount of endurance. Yeah. <clears throat> Not to mention back muscle strength and arm strength, shoulder strength to be able to support yourself. Buddy says hi. He was trying to get on the phone to see what was going on. <laughs> yeah. And Bay said that she saw the project and it was beautiful. The Good seals. Point. The seals? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Bay. <laughs> yeah, that would be crazy. Good thing we don't do too big of foundation pours typically. Yeah. It can make a huge difference. Oof. Speaking of concrete pours, Mark used to pour concrete at one time. Oh, really? Yeah, he used to That's be a tough. concrete concrete man. That's when I first met him, he was doing concrete. We used to have a concrete team, Southville. In-house, yeah. yeah. We need to check and see how he's doing. I know, so sweet. That's the few. We have elite lighting. I mean, not bio green. We're back. <laughs> Thank you for joining us this Saturday. We hope you're enjoying your weekend and that We've added a little bit to it. But one of the things I want to mention to you is how you can enjoy your home better from the moment you walk up, and that is BioGreen. BioGreenSA.com. My friend Joe Caccino over there has done a wonderful job with my yard. I am proud of it again. He loves and it so much, he lays on it. I do. And, so, and me and my dog, we lay on it. And, you know, the, the dog loves it so much that he doesn't even want to poop on it anymore. Oh, whatever. No, really. He goes poops in the other area now that we got that we got that we got <laughs> dirt. Dirt. He he didn't want the it. alley. Yeah, because the grass is so thick, it probably comes up higher now, and he loves it so lush. He's like, but, I'll protect it for my dad. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's doing good, but I mean that that is a lush lawn, and oh, it I was sure proud is. of it for decades, and then it got away from me. And BioGreen brought it back within one year. It is just looking incredible. You look at the video on on the before and after 
of one year, you won't believe it. No, it's crazy. Yeah, that's a recent video too, so go check out that video. And yeah. wow. And check them out at biogreensa.com. Uh -huh. Or call them at 421-9522. 421-9522. And so we're talking about projects that you can do um, to help you to deal with the change of situation you're no doubt living in. Yeah. And that could just mean that you're tired of seeing the same environment, but it could mean bigger changes for accommodating relatives and, and family that are now staying at home mm -hmm. or are coming back home or maybe coming home to live with you for the first time. And we can help you there. We just got a call today. Um, I got a personal call from a repeat client that wants to do their office was to build that, that office addition and that we had that we had designed for them in the past, but we did another addition for them, but now they want to do the office addition. Oh, wow. Yeah, and so, but you know, whether it's an office addition, whether it's a guest room, whether it's an exercise room, perhaps a studio that you want, you decided to take on a new hobby, mm -hmm. or maybe exercise because you can't go to the gym, you're doing it at home, whether it is a master suite for a second master suite for mom and dad moving back home or, your or even a casita you know detached right, a detached right a she said mm -hmm. and also you know uh, maybe you want that workshop maybe you'd like to use that attic just space yeah <laughs> just a tinker yeah so maybe you want that attic space converted i mean there are places in your home you probably haven't thought of that we can do mm -hmm. on a much more reasonable budget you're, you'll listen to prices and things and see what things cost, and it's always more than you want to spend. But there are sometimes ways to, to give you more for less, and you didn't think about it. You just didn't see it. Mm -hmm. So that's why we come out there and we look. And now for the starting off, we can do the, the virtual consultation. You can tell them how to do that. You just can go to kmbuilders.com slash on demand. Or if you're on our website, you can click the virtual consultations tab and you scroll to the bottom of that page and you can see a live view at dad's calendar and you can click the time that is the most convenient to you. You can choose if you want to do FaceTime or Zoom and we'll get that all set up. And it's just like a regular consultation. It's as if you were inside the house, right? That's right. And have, have you seen success with those? Oh yeah. Yeah, I really enjoy it, and we've gotten sometimes people coming back, even after I visited them the first time, which was before the virus. Oh, really? Now they're having follow-ups, and then they're saying, you know, my husband wants to join this time, so he wasn't there the first time, so we did it virtually. Oh, that's nice, so you didn't have to drive out there. Well, and they probably just thought that was a lot more convenient, too. I yeah. mean, he was in his office, oh. away from home, and she was at home while we did the virtual. So oh, three so of they... Us he didn't have to even take off of work That's even. Right. We they didn't could have all that be there the first time. Oh yeah. We didn't have that available. We need to start advertising it that way. You may one of you may still be at work and we can still all be together. That's right. So and you know, uh, and fortunately I ha I remembered the project really well. I had a video of it. Oh, and wow. so I was able to refresh my mind about all the details of it. So it looks like that's gonna go forward with a really big room addition. Exciting. Yeah, it is really gonna so I'm looking forward to hearing from them next week. And so, you know, you look at all the different ways that you can save money by having it at home, everything from home theaters to chef kitchens to uh, officing from the home, senior health, senior care centers I mean, that are expensive. How much are senior and nursing quality homes. living? Yeah, quality living. How and you can duplicate that. I mean, you can afford to build a room addition and put a pool and a hot tub and therapeutic Yeah, I was going to say, that's good for seniors too, all of those things. You could afford to have a massage therapist come over every week mm -hmm. for the price that you're going to pay for it. And have a cook come into your house and cook for you for the price you pay for a so nursing expensive. home. But they do need their space. Yes. And you can have it beautiful. You can have it add value to your home too. And that's one of the things we need to emphasize is that no matter which one of these projects we're talking about, that you might need now, or you might just want now, in almost all cases, they're gonna add so much value back to the home that you'll be able to get paid for it. Maybe not right in the first couple of years, but eventually you'll get your money back if you ever need to cash in on it. Mm -hmm. And again, interest rates are really low right now, 
my friend Leslie at Frost Bank will help you to find out exactly what it would cost you, what you qualify for based on the home. But I'm telling you, the home improvement loans and the home equity lines of credit are incredible right now, and they're very affordable. And I was thinking, just like you said, where you're going to get your money back because we're not going to design a nursing home in your home. That's it's right. not going to look like no, you've you. added a room that's a hospital. No, it's going to be a beautiful room yes. addition. Look at some of those that we've done. Mm -hmm. Offices and room, bedroom suites and so forth that are very, very accessible. But you would never know. No, they're accessible and um, they're beautiful. Yep, it's really exciting. <laughs> yeah. So if y'all would like to have that virtual consultation, you go to the virtual tab on our website. Check out our website when you get a chance and look at the projects similar to yours. Mm -hmm. If you have any problems or you're having any slowdowns in there, just let us know. We'll fix it. <laughs> but hopefully there's no problems. We've had a Jeez. few glitches. But uh, call us at 680-5626. That's how you can have me come out and visit you and schedule an appointment. But again, if it's not quick enough for you, you can go virtual at kmbuilders.com. Remember, we've designed the experience so you can experience the design. Have a great weekend. That scared me. It was so loud. Huh? It scared me. It was so loud.